Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for the school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Whoa, Chloe, Hot come on. Teacher. Rose, you are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. <laughs> Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. And what am I going to be up to? Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Principal Wells was so loaded the other night here. <laughs> am I am I in your way? <laughs> am I bothering you? So Wait, so what happens if I just like get in front of him? She's just like, whoa. Way too much shit going on, man. Try going to Blackwell. Insane. So I hear. Any word at all on Rachel? Dude, I wish. I'm working on it. And I miss her laugh. Then I bail off my board. She was probably high. Yeah, she had the sick nugs. True that. Okay, I have to bounce. Come hang with us at the park sometime. Uh, you realize, Chloe, I have to bounce means you're leaving. I can tell not just standing there. The Chloe. It was funny when uh he put out his arm and touched Chloe on the shoulder, and she just like flinched away from him. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. The fuck is that supposed to mean, Max? Hope That's it's so not the last. ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Why is that ironic? Brooke doesn't look happy that I'm going ape with Warren. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? Uh, I guess I'll wake up or ask about the Nathan. I need to find I mean, Nathan. Oh my God. Have you seen him around? <laughs> I just called ask him the Warren. Nathan. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Come on, Brooke. Don't be that way. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. Uh, I don't want a date. Um, I, I have to go. Talk I later, Brooke. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Wait, right, hold on. Again, Brooke. Are you sure you're all right? Let's talk about whales. I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. <laughs> that makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. That's so or mine. That Warren asked I love how she's just talking in the middle of our conversation. I feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Yeah, right. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? Wait, what? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. 
My drone needs me. That conversation made no sense. I I asked Warren to go. She asked to fly her drone, and then she said, Miss the teacher, let her fly again. And then Max says, What? How are these connections even being made? I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Climate change isn't real my ass. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Look at the weather. And the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other these days. His voice is creepy. That's cool to see that Samuel's not alone for once. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. Do you think this is some kind of eco-disaster, or...? I think it's more than that. Somebody is causing all this to happen. You think so? Uh, don't look you at me. And Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. What? <laughs> what do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Why is Samuel referring to himself in the third person? Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not that we can prove it. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. Oh, well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them, oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Oh, is this a picture moment? I want to take a picture of a squirrel. Oh, we already did that in a previous episode, though. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Partner. Are we trying to get another get squirrel? Get that food in your belly. Oh, there we go. Yay, photo! Oh, they're so cute. I love squirrels. We used to have a walnut tree in our front yard and the squirrels would always come. Hello, Max. Thanks again for helping me fight the power. Good. Nathan is not around. Mrs. Grant looks interested in whatever Samuel is saying. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. 
I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding, not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Unless you know something I don't. <laughs> I actually kind of want to talk about time travel, just to see what she says. What about wormholes and chaos theory? I like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground, and chaos theory is just that. But if theory? this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. Hell no. Sorry, Miss Grant. You're an adult. You can swear, damn it. And I'm glad you did. So, you haven't seen Nathan at all? Let's just say I try not to, Max. But I did catch him storming off campus. After what happened this week. I hope you don't see him either. You're not the best student here, but you... You might be the wisest. I don't think surveillance would have helped, Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing. And now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Good point. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. I kind of hate how this game always cuts off the conversation before you can ask the last one. Whoa, 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 whoops, my bad. Didn't mean to do that. And yes, I do realize I can turn back time to talk to her again, but... I don't know, I feel like that just undoes... Undoes? I don't know. Alyssa, why you play hard to get when you already hard to want? Wow! Mean! Good thing I didn't let Chloe take that money from Principal Wells. Accessibility upgrades. <gasps> Is this... Like, for ramps and stuff like that? Like, you know how, uh... In the other timeline, they were saying that they just don't have the money for ramps and... Accessibility... Uh... Renovations. coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode.
just occurred to me that the atmosphere would be so different if Kate was dead. So lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. So like my first year in university, I was in a all girls dorm. I just found it so weird the next year when I got to a co-ed dorm and I was like going into the shower and there's like guys coming out. It's just awkward and weird. Uh, let's see. Supermax, in case you still need it, Nathan's room is number 111. Kate, you are so awesome. Thank you. I love that you bring out the rebel in me. You already are a rebel. Trust me. Always. And please, please be careful. Promise. Of course, I'll keep you posted. I know you will. Smiley face. Oh, Kate brings it. So, room 111 is the magic number. <laughs> wow. No homo, huge penis. Racist pig. Fuck you, Samuel equals Dexter. Ha! Fuck of my room. Hello there, what is going on here? Oh, nothing, Principal. We're just fucking around with your fuck shit school. Okay, thanks, bye. Wait, what does that say about Alyssa? Alyssa, day and night. Wow. Boys, boys, boys. Who would steal cat pics? Reward. On September 15th, my backpack with all my school books and my new tablet was taken from the cafeteria. I don't care about the school books and my... Or school books, but my tablet has a large picture file of my late cats. Rest in peace. So I will pay a cash reward. No questions asked, please. These cats were my best friends. Really? They have one more meeting left. Uh, what is this? Gamer guys? Cod to wow, blah blah blah. <laughs> yeah, I feel so bad for her. Oh, why, hello, Trevor and Dana. I was trying to listen to what they were saying, but then Apparently they stopped talking. Logan missed this poster. Look before you lust to always use protection and secure your future. <laughs> Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were given. <laughs> Evan rolls. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god. Let's go into the showers. <laughs> toilet paper here too. Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Apparently. Wow. Even after Kate. Nobody here learned anything about bullying. So, our boy, like, I know boys are a little more, uh, rambunctious than girls, but seriously, I feel like this is just a little bit exaggerated. Oh, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Wow. Zack or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. Ugh, skunkweed and video games. I okay, there's definitely a dorm map around here. Yeah, I don't care. I know where Nathan's room is. I just... This just makes me think of Kate. Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. Oh, I can write. I can have a little fun with Warren for a change. I mean, he's the one who wants to go Abe. And sometimes you have to take a chance and see what happens. I hope Warren doesn't think that's too dorky. I mean, not like he isn't. Wow! Laugh, <laughs> that is right? so dorky. Are you made of copper and tellurium? Because you're 
cutie. Wow. I guess Max does like Warren then? I don't, I don't know. Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Well, why don't you take it off, Max, if you see something like that? Sorry, Looks Kate. Like one of the jocks did care about Kate. Oh, you Bigfoots. All right. Let's go look at Nathan. This can only be Nathan's room. Ugh. Yeah, why would he leave his door unlocked? Wow, really? Nobody heard that? And nobody's coming out to look at the or investigate? What the hell? He has a fucking cinema in his room? Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. And apparently he leaves it running when he leaves. Max, now that David is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much. But that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know it happens, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hoped you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her, unless you both want to play bad. But she can't keep blaming David now. I'm sorry, Joyce. Even I get into shenanigans, but I am trying to be a good influence on Chloe. I know, Max. I forget that you're still teenage adults. By the way, I found the nest on the ground in the garage. Poor eggs and birds. I hope you weren't snooping around in there with Chloe. Wait, what? The nest fell on the ground? Did they... Oh. Did they die? That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. Wow. Oh my god! No! I was supposed to move the board back, wasn't I? Oh my god, I feel so bad! I feel so, so freaking bad. Holy crap. That monochrome camera is brand new and cost about six grand. <laughs> Bastard. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. Is that poster says, <laughs> Mommy, I love you? What the hell? Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. <laughs> Anger management. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. That is so Chloe. Oh my god. Oh, whoops. Chloe. What the hell? Chloe. Hey asshole, we need to talk or I'm going to tell everybody what you did and you're going to pay, motherfucker. Huh. Nathan clearly has his fetish down. Ugh. Ick. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Nice sailor suit. 
I'm gonna look at the computer last. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. These films all have a dark pattern. Ah, uh, psychopath? Yeah, probably. Oh, man. That dickhead stole one of my selfies. Creepy. Oh. Nathan Prescott. Really? All American teen. Ah. <sighs> Porn magazines. Ew. Like, do you really want to touch that, Max? Ew. So Remember, gross. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. To Victoria. Hey, gorgeous. Let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as stylish and expensive. I'm psyched about going and I'm picking up some serious party favors. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have an end of the world theme, then let's do it fucking on point, right? Oh dear. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Kate gone wild, really? <laughs> you roll. Oh man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. From Sean to Nathan, don't worry. Nate, I know this has been a stressful week and your mother and I are here to talk if you if need be. Just make an appointment anytime. Wow, a, an appointment with your parents. <laughs> Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while pa Panastates is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden, and I'll guide you into this room step by step as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shithole town is going to get an anema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son. Your father. Nice dad. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. From Nathan to Christine. No. To Nathan from Christine. Sorry. Tudo Ben from Brazil, little brother. It's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your exciting scholastic life at Blackwell. I brag to all my co-workers in the Peace Corps that my talented bro Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world. Even though I can't always check my mail or phone, please, please, please send me some new photos of campus so I can live vicariously through your lens. I miss you and your pictures. And yes, mother told me you've been in trouble and father has been on your ass, but you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. You know I love dad, Nate, but I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom. And the only way to- Oh my god, my dog. <laughs> Sorry. And the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change into one- Oh, don't let him change you into one just for the family legacy. End of lecture. You're at school, so I wanted to make you feel at home. Back to the mangrove, sending out good thoughts. Better write back, or I'll have a jaguar shipped to your dorm. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. What the hell? Extreme diet suppressant. Wow. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Um, Nathan, I'd like to apologize for the recent accusation. Your name and record speaks for itself. Sometimes students will use that to make their own name at Blackwell. I know your father was upset while I have assured him that you would never bring a weapon to school. Uh, I don't want you distracted from school, and I'm certain this matter will be settled by the end of the week. If you have any questions, you know I'm always available to talk. Ugh. By the way, who the hell opens, like, individual emails on separate tabs? <laughs> so, uh, what did I find out from coming here? Not much? Oh, wait. Scratch marks. What the hell? What 
the hell are all those marks on the floor? The couch is regularly moved? Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of Now I have Nathan's phone so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. 